Reporter, as a judo champion, what is your perspective on the martial arts that Bruce Lee extensively studied back then, as well as his level of proficiency in grappling and throwing techniques, after your extensive exchanges with him? Nishioka, Bruce Lee had a profound interest in and research on various martial arts disciplines. Whenever I went to his home for training sessions, which were usually once a month or even longer apart, I would always find him alone, intently and quietly watching videos of boxing championship matches. He would replay these videos over and over again, providing professional commentaries on the confrontations that occurred in the ring. This was how he learned and studied other martial arts through various effective channels. Looking here and there, he would select, imitate, or through repeated experimentation, optimize and integrate relevant practical techniques. He once said, the punching technique of karate is inferior because when you attack your target, though you punch quickly, your entire movement stops after the strike, adopting a fixed pose instead of maintaining elastic fluidity. In contrast, the punching technique of boxing is extremely powerful, flexible, and versatile. The offensive momentum comes in waves, like a tide, which is what real, vibrant combat is all about. He would always provide convincing theoretical analyses and technical explanations for his observations, drawing from physics, biomechanics, or practical combat orientations under realistic conditions. Every time I returned to school, I would practice the punching techniques he taught me. During my practice, I discovered a method of combined double punch heavy strikes, chaining punches together, and the effect was outstanding.